Welcome to Bridge Atlantic's interviews, where we get to know the people behind and in front of the creative industries. We're your hosts, music web designer Ross Barber Smith from Scotland, owner of Electric Kiwi, where we create awesome custom websites for bands, artists, and musicians. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as Electric Kiwi. And I'm singer songwriter and multi instrumentalist Marcin Novelli from Canada, a man who wears many hats, literally and figuratively. When I'm not releasing music under my own name or my side project, Midnight Soundtrack, I'm producing and mixing records for other artists or directing and editing music videos and music documentaries. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as my name, Marcin Novelli. Yep, and our new shirts have arrived. I say they're new, they're not so new, but they're still. Hopefully, well, awesome. they're new to the person buying it. So, I mean, well, it's new. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, I mean, you don't wear every single like, shirt. I'm you sure if I go buy a shirt in a store, it may have sat there for like two years. So it's still new to me, you know, unless it's like yeah. literally hot off the press, Ross. Jeez. <laughs> Stop ruining my flow. This went dark. Yeah. <laughs> this went dark <laughs> It fast. did. It did. <laughs> anyway, if, uh, if, you know, if you're still interested in our shirts after us rambling about them for longer than we should have they are available to purchase on our website uh there's a link to it in our show notes so go and okay, get i'll them. lighten it up a little bit by saying that you get 10 percent off if you use the coupon code bta rocks um just our way of saying thanks gracias you rock any of those any of those uh synonyms kind of kind of synonyms what would you call those like like i don't know i'm crazy Stop Stop talking. <laughs> our, our, our guest who's waiting here, he hasn't spoken yet. He's not allowed to speak. We tell our guest, do not, not speak during yeah. the intro. This he's is been silent. This is our like two minutes to just go off. And he's probably just thinking, oh no, what have I gotten myself into? So speaking of yeah. our guest. Yeah, speaking of this guest, this guest who's probably sitting bored to tears and <laughs> hating both of us right now. Uh, he's a man from Vancouver. He's music producer and engineer Garth Richardson. He's worked with some of the biggest names in rock, including Rage Against the Machine, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Nickelback, Trapped, one of my favorite bands, Biffy Clyro, Rise Against, and even Taylor Swift. Just a few, just a few. Garth is also the co-founder of the Nimbus School of Recording Arts, a private technical music production institute, and is the owner of The Farm Studios, which is, I would say, the famous Farm Studios. We're really excited to welcome him to the show and learn more about his career and the advice he'd offer to musicians and aspiring producers. So honored to welcome Garth to the show. How's it going, man? Good, 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 good. First of all, rock and roll does not start at 8 a.m., okay? <laughs> yeah. I got my house hard. coat on, you know, I got, you know, like... You guys, know, 8 right? a.m. Stop well, this. actually, you know, initially we did offer you a 7 a.m. slot, and you yeah. quickly told us the rock definitely it does, does, does not start, start at 7. 7. No, 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 no. It yeah. sucks. It sucks. This is true. Well, you know yeah. what? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put that 8 a.m. mind to use and ask you to tell us three oh, things about yourself foggy. that everyone should know. Okay, three things a about me is I've been doing this now for 44 years. My father used to make records. He did These Eyes Laughing Undone, American Woman, Bob Seger, Night Moves. He did Alice Cooper, Love It to Death. I got to grow up watching him make actually records for years and years and years. I got to watch the first Peter Gabriel record being made live off the floor. So that was a blast. That was just absolutely the best thing in the world. Um, I don't like to lose. I think that's the other thing is, you know, it's when I work, I push and I push and I push because I want to be great. I don't want any record I do to sound like shit, I guess you could say. Yes, yeah, so we, we were going to get into that already, but your dad is, uh, I guess I would, I would call him a legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, he really is. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, to grow up around that, I, I just can't imagine that. I, I, I'd be shocked if you didn't go into that industry. I was going to ask how you got started in the music industry, but you, you grew up within yeah. the music industry, I would say. Can you remember your first production or engineering gig? Well, my first second engineering gig was Bob Seger Night Bob Seger Night Moves. Um, the band had left. My dad had to do four four songs. Bob Bob had to. They were mixing the two. My dad came down to get Bob, and Bob was actually playing this song on the piano. My dad stopped and listened, and and I went. That's a really good song. And he came in the room and said, Bob, what's, what's this song Song that you're playing? And he says, I fucking hate it. It's a piece of shit. And he begins to play Night Moves. My dad said, that's a hit. We're going to do it. A whole band showed up. I was the guy 
putting in the microphones and and getting everything set up for it and th that was my first yeah, so break and i was actually I, I think i think i was at the time actually 15. so oh, i began wow. <laughs> that yeah yeah i was just this little kid and i went well this is great you know you know well you know blast. i guess what i want to ask you then did you <clears throat> were you really um were you ever overly impressed by the people around in, in a way because you're no, so used to no. it they're just yeah, people yeah 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 right what they they were all normal fucked up people you know <laughs> <laughs> you know That's you know great, you yeah. know you know what you had to realize that you, you know like we are all absolute we are all absolutely crazy right mm -hmm. you know you, you know so nobody nobody ever wanted a actual real real job well, you know, speaking of producing, you started at such an early, early age and, yes. uh, you know, got to learn from not only, not only was, was, was your dad a producer, but one of the best, you know, you got to learn from him. So fast forward many decades to yes. right now, like what do you, what's the three, you can give us three main criteria you listen for when choosing to produce a new artist. Okay. Num number one is song. There has to be songs. Number two, the singer has to be a star. If he isn't star, then then you're done. He has no songs, and you also have to have drive, because you want. Know There's a lot of bands now that just sit around and they, you know, they're up all night drinking and partying, and then when it comes time to doing, you know, you know, doing what it takes now, because you know, like way way back when, the bands used to have to, used to have the label guy show up. Get them up out of bed. You can get them dressed. You get them in the van. Go somewhere. Else. Now, now it's like guys. You, you kind of have to get off your ass, right? So, so exactly. you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. You know it, it's called guys. Get off your phone. Pick up your guitar and write <laughs> and write songs. You know, and they're all on the laptops and they're all on their you know things. So things are actually really, really actually kind of different now. You know, back back then there weren't any cell phones. There really weren't any computers. You've and you worked. Now, mm -hmm. now it's like guys, you guys, you guys are getting drum sounds. You know, they're on their phone mm -hmm. like this, and they're yeah, yeah, and they're getting you know hitting the drum phones and doing like stuff. It's like guys, put down your phones, you know. So no, exactly. Actually, a friend of mine is a uh, is an engineer producer too. We've had him on the show before. Okay. Uh, Darren uh, Majerowski actually he he's, he loves your work, oh, and good, uh, you. he recently went on a I don't know what you'd call it, but he went out to Paris and worked with uh, one of his favorite producers of all time. I can't remember what his name is right now. He's he's one of the top, and uh, he said the apparently the rule was there was no cell phones allowed in the studio. You're, you'd get and kicked out of there. There's no set like you can keep in your room, but not when you're in there. I mean, fantastic. Yeah, I love that rule. Yeah, you should create that rule. <laughs> yeah. Although, I, I, mean, I have a similar rule in my house. Do uh, really, yeah, really, really? Hate, okay, okay. Yeah, I hate when when people are on their phone, like if my, you're trying to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. So I've got a new thing, and it's called the phone police. So if I see someone is on their phone, it's woo woo, -woo. <laughs> and you don't say wow. anything. You wow. just wait and see if they if they pick up, and they're like, oh shit, sorry, and then put their phone down. <laughs> I have to tell I my wife that one because you know, my <laughs> mama, oh, my, no. my dear wife, wife hates me when I'm on my phone. <laughs> because I'll be having a conversation and then also I'll go squirrel and I'm like, you know, I'm like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, exactly. And she's yeah. like, put your phone down. I'm here. Right. So the one thing, the one thing that, that my dad actually taught me, be a engineer, not mm. an engine. I, oh, I like that. And everybody nowadays, you know, they are always, wow. they are always looking at the screen. Yeah. This doesn't look, this, this mm -hmm. doesn't look right. It's like, no, 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 no. How does it sound? I don't know. Huh. I love that. You know? Well, especially yeah. because, again, you did grow up in the generation where you guys weren't using DAWs. You guys were using the whole console and mixing. Using, it was about the ears. Sure, yeah. you had your levels, but that was basically the only visual you had, right? The visuals were, were these little meters. Oh, I get oh, what I talked yeah, about. Yeah, 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 go back yeah, yeah. more meters. Like yeah. You would be looking at the meters, yeah. and then you would listen to the yeah. sound. You know? Exactly. You know, you know, you know, you know? and, I, and I, I, I totally... Um, and I'm guilty of this at looking at. Oh, you know, is it the same level? Okay, is it? You know, I do look at things yeah. when yeah. I'm do, yeah. when I'm producing. So <laughs> I like that a lot. I really, yeah. really do. I just did this record with a band called Big Wreck. Oh wow! We we, uh, we didn't use the screen. We used our ears. We did it live off the floor, drums and bass. 
and a few guitar parts. Um, did not cut it up. We oh, wow. did it all. We just said, play it if it's wrong, play it again and again and again. We also mixed it manually. Oh, really? Oh, you know what? I think I heard you talking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what? I am getting tired of, of everyone using this thing called a mouse. And it's like, you know what? Use your hands. Make it look like you're playing so something. So I am actually going back to the old days of, 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 of use your ears, not your eyes. Stop looking at me, this screen. Stop using, stop using this little ball mm -hmm. to, to make your moves. Use a fader. Hmm. You, know, you, 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 know, you, know, you know, make it real. Because everything sounds the same now. Every record that I've heard, it's just like, it's, it sounds like every other record because everyone is actually using this actual Wave plugin, mm -hmm. this UA plugin, and it's all becoming flat, linear, with no depth. And somebody has to pass a law that each band can only have three recalls per song. Not a thousand or 500 or, you know, would you turn the hi-hat hit up in bar 85? <laughs> yeah, point 0.5, because I just feel that the one hi-hat hit, and then you get the mix back, and they go, okay, great. Now, we, you know, and it's like, it just goes on and yeah. on and on and on. And it's like, guys, we did this big rec record to yeah. where we get it all up and going. We all have people at the console with their moves. After basically, after pass five, we were like, okay, it's done. Wow. Finished. Can we can we apply that law to web and graphic design too? Yeah, <laughs> because, uh, yeah. you know, right, right, right. You know, that, yeah. that, that one pixel. Mm, mm, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, if we could yeah, just you know right? move yeah. over, yeah, you know, yeah. can, can you move over half a pixel? Is that is that is it? My uh, my good friend yeah. Nick Blagona. I'm sure that you're familiar yeah, with. But on Nick, well, yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, uh, makes, he's a crazy man. Who he's, he's absolutely a, nuts. Absolutely, absolutely crazy nuts. man. Love him. But the guy's a fucking nut. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I love sure. him. I love he en him. He engineered and mixed my last record, and uh, he oh, was good. very sweet. It was my it was my debut full length, so he was very my debut full length solo album, and uh, he was very patient with me. Yeah, yeah and I good, did do good. plenty of recalls that were minor things. A couple of things was more preference. Like I like to have a, a drummer perspective. Right. Or, uh, that's just things and he's like oh yeah no worries a couple of things like okay Marcio you got one more so you better put your list together <laughs> properly <laughs> he gave me three he i had three and i was happy, oh, I was good, happy good, good, good. and i was good. very very happy but uh but yeah i mean there are personal preferences and stuff yeah too, yeah, right? yeah, yeah but yeah. uh yeah so i'm just sitting here smirking i'm like sorry guys <laughs> i've been that guy and i'm <laughs> it's probably you, will again. it's you it's yeah okay, okay. <laughs> but at least I, I understand i understand okay. production and mixing everything too so i yeah, the way i yeah. explain it is very clear and i'm not talking about 0.5 i'm talking about you know I did this one thing with this one band. I told them that they got three actually things that they could say. After that, 20 bucks per, per actually comment. I, I got a call from the manager and said, no, oh, dude, dude, joking, joking, but just kind of play, you know, like along with it. And I made so much money. And at the end, I said, yeah, guys, you get your money back. The biggest ego in the room should be the song. Mm. It, it should not be the hi hat needs to be a bit louder. Uh, uh, you know, you know this part over here. You know, it's you know it's stuff. It's you know it's about you know whoever is actually singing what he's saying, and that should supersede everything else. You know, you know, you know. You always make sure that the drummer cannot comment on his parts. The bass player cannot comment on his parts. Comment on this song. You know, so. That's just my old school. You're, there, just, so. you're such a well of knowledge, and it makes sense that you would open up uh, the Nimbus School of Recording Arts. Yeah, yeah. So we do yeah, want to talk yeah. a little bit about that. Um, yeah, bit. I was going to say the old school is the best school, um, yeah. and but now from the old school to the new school. Yes, yeah, true, <laughs> Nimbus true, true. School of Recording Arts. Yeah, uh, yeah. you teach both the practical and the business skills if exactly. you need to make a, a living in today's music industry. Is there one particular question that your students? seem to have is like one common thing that everyone struggles with or doesn't know the answer to that maybe you can answer for us just now wow okay um what they come in with zero 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 knowledge of the past they some kids do not even know who mr george martin is they're like who's he and i go he did the beatles oh yeah the beatles and you can name <laughs> name all these people right so 
we actually make, make them do songs from 1950. They get four tracks. They do a song from 1960. They get eight tracks. They do a song from the 70s. They do 60 track. We make them go back and, and to show them how hard it was to make songs back with only this many mics, this, this many tracks. And, 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 and they only want to bust out on, um, you know what? They only have to do their actual kind of laptop. They go, look at, I can bust this out on a laptop. But, but you have to understand about sounds and you have to understand about mixing balances and you have to understand about mixing starts from the first sound that you get. And they, 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 they come in very kind of green. I was that way too. I came in, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. You know, you know, you know, you know so, 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 so every, you know, everybody started off that way. Right. So, so like our goal is to teach them, you know, to be, to be great, to know, know how to be in a room because so many kids now think because they, they could turn on, you know, something i'm great at this i'm going to tell you that and it's like no shh, quiet don't talk keep your mouth shut Just keep quiet because you know what there's a there's a guy in the room that has sold a hundred and actually 70 million records and you've sold 10 yeah copies right you know you know so so that's the thing that we want them to learn is to you know hang be cool hang be nice you know I love that. Yeah. Are you ready Let's for go. 20 questions? Let's go. Let's go. Let's do I'm this. Ready. Coffee okay. or tea? Right here. Right here. Coffee. Tea. <laughs> Meat or veggies? Meat. Twitter. Yes. Twitter or Facebook? Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? You know what? It's Twitter. Now, I think I know the answer to this one already. Okay. Yeah. Hockey or basketball? Please. Hockey. Come on, man. I knew it. Okay. I knew it. Analog or digital? You know what? Analog. You know why? Warmth. Yeah. Yeah. You really can't replicate it. No, 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 yeah. no. Education or experience? It, both. Yeah, Canada, you have to have both. Canada or Scotland? Oh, no. Come on now. I got a love. You know what? <laughs> Wow, you Don't know what? Pass. You. Pass. Next. <laughs> I don't well, want to offend. You've, I don't want you've offend. used your, your one pass. We don't normally give passes out. Oh, really? Oh, we'll make okay. an exception. Okay, but, then. You know what? Bear in mind that you've used this pass already. <laughs> wow. Right? You've used it already. Wow. Okay. Pressure on him. Okay, go, 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 go. I'm CD scared. or vinyl? Vinyl. Simpsons or Family Guy? Family Guy. Talent or attitude? Attitude. Live or studio when it comes to production engineering? Studio. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. All right, here's another, here's another uh, instrument. Roland or Yamaha? I would have to say Roland. Batman or Superman? Batman. Mac or PC? Mac. Michael Jackson mm -hmm. or Michael... Bolton. Yeah. Well, <laughs> my <laughs> sorry, my dad did Michael actually Bolton. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Wow. So what? Ross oh. is losing his mind here. Oh, okay, but yeah. but he was spelled Bloton. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why was yeah. he spelled Bloton? Because that was his name. Oh. <laughs> and then one. somebody went. We got to change it to Michael Bolton. Because real? yeah, 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 yeah. I do actually have it on vinyl. Oh, I can't no find way. it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh no hey, way. What's hey, okay? Hey, I'm so jealous don't worry. right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, next. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait. Is is Michael Bolton the answer then? Yes, of course. Wow. Come yes, on, so come on. Got one. Come on. Wow. Celine yeah. Dion or Marilyn Manson? Oh, you know what? I would have to say Celine Dion. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Whale or kale? Whale or kale? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he likes to pronounce his his H. Now remember, I said you couldn't pass. I know this is a this is a really tough one for <laughs> for most people. 
Well, no, you know what? what? You know what? Give me the whale. Well, you're out west. I mean, you probably see them all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. I do. Bet Midler or the Riddler? Oh, you, you know what? Bet Midler. Okay. Yeah. Your, fin- well, your final question. Okay. He did use his pass, gonna, didn't he, Ross? Yep, you he already used the pass. You know, okay. we're not, we're not going to forget to remind you of that. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. We're going to ask you to pick between Ross, this guy, or Marcio, that guy. Ross. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? That was very good for me. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, so good okay. for Marcio. Yeah, I'm going to okay. share something with you guys. Today, okay. usually... Usually I lobby each guest. I'm like, look, this is why you should pick me. And today I was going to be like, look, Garth, you know, I, I contacted you over a decade ago. And, you know, I'm sure we'll work together at some point. And, you know, I'm, I'm a musician and we got so many things in common. So but I'm like, I'm not going to say that today. I'm going to try where I don't lobby the guest and maybe I'll win. But no. Nope. You know why? Because, you know why? Be- because he's Scottish. Oh, that, goes wow. back, uh, that goes back to my past. Oh. Right, oh right. See, you, you, you know, you know. <laughs> oh, you, you'll win one day. Marcy. What's the odds? What's the odds? How well, many times odd, have oh, you I'd lost? I'd probably say this is. We've done about 120 interviews. I'd say okay. maybe I got 20 of them. <laughs> no, right? you've had more than okay, that. Okay, well, you've had we more also than got that. some ties. So maybe, maybe a tie? I got oh, a tie. Maybe a I got tie? 30. Maybe I got 30. I don't know. Okay, we'll, we'll have okay. to tally. One day we challenge. have to do We challenge our listeners to tally it up. Maybe the first person who tallies it up. What do you think, Ross? They get a free shirt or something. I think that's yeah, fair. let's do that. First person who tells yeah. up and, and tells us, you know, who actually is the bigger wow. bigger loser gets a free shirt. There you <laughs> go. The bigger loser. No, I mean, well, we, no, no, we know I <laughs> am, but it's just a matter of how much of a big loser I am. Um, yeah, you're not a loser. You're not a loser. Thank you, Garth. Thanks okay, a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay, good, good. What advice? Oh. I want some advice from you now. What advice okay. can you offer artists who are looking uh, for the right producer, whether it's you or another producer out there? Um, cause at the end of the day, like you said, it is about the, uh, the song, it's about the album and the artists yeah. are going to producer to that. It should be who's best for that song and album songs right. or album. You know, some people work with small producer per album. Um, how can they find someone who's going to be the best fit for them? Because somebody that will actually say, I, I am there to help them make their record. When somebody comes in and, and says, this is my right record. I'm going to tell you what to do. Run away as fast as you can. Because every single record I've done, I always make sure that it sounds like them. I hate when you put on someone's, someone's going, going, oh, well, what's his name did this record? Oh, what's his name did this record? Because they put their actual, their actual stamp on it. And that's wrong. Because you know what? I want to hear that uh, that band's record so make sure that that you pick somebody that isn't there to make uh make their record through that band you know would that also apply to mixing engineers you think yes is that a little different now no 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 no. mixing mix mixing is a whole new beast you want to get Mm -hmm. somebody that's going to make it sound great on actually radio okay Right, but 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 you also have to make sure that he's not going to make it horrible. You know, yeah, because you know. some mix engineers will completely reamp things and just make basically should have just been line in and they could have done it. <laughs> they, yeah, yeah, <laughs> well. true, true, yeah, true, <laughs> true, true. And this kind of leads on uh, from that question. So <clears throat> once an artist has, has picked their producer yes. and they're heading into the studio, what should they do to make sure that they're as prepared as possible? And what do you find helpful from a producer's perspective? Okay, ready? Practice. Practice, practice, practice. And also, do not put a date down thinking that that's, that's when you're going to go in. Make sure that, that you're ready. And then to flip that, like, how about for producers who want to work with bands? You know, what should they be doing to get those first few clients and um, to build a good reputation for themselves? You know what? Show up hungry, offer... I'll offer things for free. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, I did it. I did the Bullet Boys first, actually, demos, which actually got, got, got them signed. I didn't make a penny. And I'm sure you, you know? were thinking long term, right? What that's going to. Okay, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, and there's a reason you're still doing it today. Yeah. You know what? It's like I've never had a job. I get to rock and roll. 
I get to have a blast. Well, not in the morning, though. Not in the morning, Garth. You know what? You have to go back and have a nap. You have to go and have a nap now, soon, Shirley. Right? You know. You know. You know. This is so horrible. For producers listening right now, you know, every producer has their own different little things they do. Um, that you know, I know you're big about giving the artist what it needs, of course. But yeah. you know, some some producers go as to an extreme of recording each drum hit by itself just yeah. to get those isolated sounds, which doesn't sound like it's something that would be up your alley. Um, <clears throat> it's not. It's no. Not. So, is there something that you know, an artist that's working with you that's maybe worked with five, six other producers, they would look at you and be like, "Oh, you do this actually a little bit differently than somebody else," yeah. or you know, if, even if it's going back to how it used to be, you know what I mean? What's something a little different about how you work? You know what? My main thing is to to, uh, uh, to get the band to get them to play properly as a band to make sure because, you know what? The most important thing is the singer. Everything else has to kind of he has to or she she has to sit right in the middle. And I get the drummer now to sing, sing as he's actually playing playing i said when you're singing singing the song you, you can only keep time because most drummers are like the singer singing and the drummer's doing all this yeah. you know the <laughs> fills not accompanying and, anymore. You, you, you know and it's like <laughs> dude it isn't about you it's about the singer because you know what right Nobody goes to a actual John Bon Jovi show, and you know the you know when they go to the you know mm-hmm. well living on a prayer, and mm-hmm. you know John was there. There was like ninety thousand people. The band stops. John throws through you, you know you, you know you know like his mic, mm-hmm. and ninety and ninety thousand people are going. It does not happen. They're Sorry sing- to all the drummers listening. Yeah. No, 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 no. But they are singing <laughs> yeah. the fucking lyric, yeah. right? So do spend a lot of time making sure that that is what is being heard and everything else has to fit. Well, how about if a solo artist, like my, myself, for example, is coming to you as a, as a solo artist, no band yes. behind him or her, right. you know, how do you approach that? Do you ever, uh, do you always feel the need to have a band even for a solo artist or, you know? Um, no, the different, it's just d- different, different style. Yeah. Different, different style. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, because then that that way you have to build it up differently. Yeah. You know? And it's OK you know? because it's about that yeah, one yeah, artist yeah, yeah, rather yeah, than yeah, the band as a yeah, collective. Yeah. 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 We, I think yeah. we can just keep asking you questions for like yeah, go, no, go, hours go. and hours and hours. You know, well, uh, I guess just kind of as, as a final thing, you know, what would you like to say? I think because, uh, you know, this interview, I think, is going to appeal to two groups of people, you know, particularly aspiring producers um, right. and artists who want to work with you or, you know, want to work with producers. So, you know, what would you say to each, each group separately? Okay. A very kind of actually funny, actually story. My dad, when I was really young, I said, pops, I really have to follow you in what what you're doing. He goes, okay, son, we could have a talk. And I had a pad of paper and a pencil and I was ready for this three hour fucking dissertation about, (laughs) you know, you know how to do it. And he said, good songs sell, bad songs don't, hmm. and leaves. And, and, I, and I went, that's it. And he goes, that's it. So, 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 <laughs> you're right. That's great. With every band and every single producer out there, you guys have to, it isn't about this, this fucking plugin mm-hmm. and this plugin and this bullshit, this bullshit. It's about telling a story in a song. It's about a song. It's about making making someone feel. Somebody has to start going back to inside, you know, here, and just having fun, you know, you know, you know. But writing great songs, it's simple, you know, you know. It doesn't matter what the snare the snare drum sounds like, right? It doesn't. It's about the song. So that's you know, it applies to both sides. Absolutely. Right, you know, yeah, you know, I, I don't think know. that you could have said anything to both sides any, any yeah. better than that. Yeah, song. It's about the yeah. fucking song. You know, funny, funny story. And this is, of course, will like a, apply to you. Um, uh, uh, w- we had the Bay City Rollers at at my dad's actually studio. They came over to our house, 
one girl saw them getting out of our car. Within 15 minutes, we had 700 girls around our backyard screaming and yelling. <laughs> My dad got out, got out the hose and sprayed them all. Get the fuck out of here. And he's like spraying them all. And it was just the most wild thing. But, you, you know, you know, it was just like, are you kidding me? Like 700 girls showed up at our house. <laughs> and, and, and this was back pre this. Right, right. right. This is all, Sue, Sue, you're never going to believe this. And like, then, then Sue would call her friends and they'd call their friends, call their friends. And then all of a sudden it was like this swarm of, of, of these young girls. It, it was weird. <laughs> you know, you know. You I know? love that. Oh, another story, and this was a little bit rude. So oh, that's okay. <laughs> I had this band here, and I went home into the city. And I got back up here, and you, you know what? My team goes. I just want to let you know that the bass bass player in the band, she went over to the Wendy's drive-through, got the girl, brought brought her back, and actually banged her in your bed. And I went, really? Oh, dude, really? I said, okay, does he know? No, he doesn't know. Okay, do not tell him that I know. So that night, I went over to his bed. And you know how you get those hedge, you know, those, the things that you, if you do your hair, like the buzzers. Right? Oh, yeah, you know yeah, the buzzers. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. buzzers. Yeah. I went over to, oh, over to his bed, pulled down my pants. <laughs> And I literally cleaned every bit of hair around <laughs> all of my lower parts. And I sprinkled it all over his pillow. <laughs> the, the, I mean, it gets better. The very next the very next morning, we're all up on the deck and it's sunny, and he comes over and he and he literally sits down and in his eyebrows, on his face, <laughs> in his hair, on his shirt. I am all over him. <laughs> right? You know, you know, you know, I just, I just basically, you know, you know, just went, you're like, dude, you, you don't go in, into my room right. and, and have, and have actually sex in my, you know, in my bed. Right. right. Off, offside. So, you know what, you know, what? I got him back. So that was, uh, that might be some of the best revenge I've ever <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, you are just, uh, you're uh, one hell of a guy, man. Uh, where can people find you online? You know what? They can find me at www.gggarth.com. And you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, iTunes, and YouTube. Don't forget to visit our site and pick up one of our shirts while you're there. Yeah, that's right. And as for me, I'm working on my second solo album, and you can be a part of it at marcinavelli.com slash pledge. I also recently released an acoustic EP called The Reimagining. Uh, go check it out. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify, which again are my name, Marcio Novelli. And I'm working on websites for various arts at the moment, and you can check out my work at electrickiwi.co.uk. You'll find me on Twitter and Instagram as Electric Kiwi, and on Facebook, Electric Kiwi Design. Yeah, and this episode was brought to you by Chris Keaton, Joe Centenary, The Rockstar Advocate, Buck Naked Soap Company, 30 Roses, Wendy Donaldson, and Social Surge. All links are in the show notes, so please check them out because they keep the show alive. And if you want to help keep this show's heart pumping, then visit patreon.com slash bridge the Atlantic. Uh, you can sponsor us from as little as a dollar per episode all the way up to our top tier package, which you a get million. a free shirt in. You know, I'm just talking about these shirts all the time. <laughs> I just can't stop talking about them. Um, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and iTunes so you don't miss any episodes. And also uh, leave us a comment while you're at it and let us know what you think of the show. We're near the end of the interview here because uh, Ross's dog is jumping around and antsy and look <laughs> yeah, and he's coming he's on the actually, camera. He's trying to get on the ca- yeah. he's trying to get on the desk. He's he not is, quite he just wants there. to say he wants to say bye to Garth. So we'll say bye well, to Garth. You for say you. Bye? Garth uh, say honestly, bye. man, thanks so much for coming on. Uh, okay. Is Loki gonna come say hi? Okay, there he we go. Oh, hi. he's so cute. Oh, oh, he's not he's not gonna, so cute. <laughs> oh Loki, come Jeez. on now. Oh, it's amazing. On. Garth, seriously though, man, uh, okay. this has been great. Thanks so much for coming on, and we truly appreciate it. Good. Peace Thanks out. So much. <laughs> okay. My dad did actually Man of War. A- and he came up, they-, they came up with the saying, death to actually false metal. So oh, there you go. Death to false metal. Rock and roll does not start at eight. It's noon. 
Thanks for watching Bridge the Atlantic. If you like what you saw, make sure to like, favorite, and most importantly, subscribe so that you don't miss each week's episode. Please feel free to leave us a comment letting us know what you think of the show. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and subscribe to us on iTunes so that you can listen to us on the go. And we'll see you on next week's episode. Bye.